Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So, uh, did I get lipstick on my teeth? Um, I'm still kind of recovering from surgery. Um, so my bottom jaw is kind of numb still and the nerves, um, there's like a nerve that like runs to my smile. So I can still like, you know, smile with like my, uh, my lips, but I can't really smile with my teeth. So when I do it, like, <laughs> I'm like, uh, with Halloween kind of sort of coming and getting closer, um, I thought, you know, I wanted to do, like, I think I still will do, like, a voiceover on my Jessica Rabbit look that's on my Instagram, um, and do, like, a longer video on that one, but for, um, today, I thought, well, you know, like, what is something that is, like, used a lot in Halloween looks? Wigs. And I have a lot of wigs. I mean, for for me being a person that doesn't really wear wigs like out of my house, um, I have quite a few. <laughs> anyway, so um, I want to do a whole wig collection video, try them all on for you guys. Um, some of them are kind of random and some were meant to be for Halloween looks that maybe I didn't. Um, I have a lot of red ones that I was just like, why do I have so many red wigs? I've always wanted to have red hair and I've always wanted to have blonde hair. I've had blonde hair before, but I didn't really do it right. So, um, it didn't really look blonde. It was kind of orange and that was like years ago. But, um, yeah. And I also have a new intro for Halloween that I want to use. So, um, I thought, why not just do like a quick little... I don't know, wig try on video and show you guys like all the wigs I have. I, I don't know, I'm not really like a crazy wig wearer or anything like that, but I thought this would be kind of fun since we are still in the month of uh, Halloween stuff. So I thought, why not try on some wigs for you guys and show you my wig collection. So yeah, let's just, uh, let's get started. <laughs> Okay, so they come in like, all of them from Powder Room D come all like, if you buy like four, it comes with four wig caps. I just have this one that I kind of consistently use, which I will be putting on before I put the wigs on. And they come in like a bag, like this. But the first one I'm going to do is going to be this really pretty red one. I actually, um, for the Jessica Rabbit, I bought two because I got a curly one. I got this straight, more straight, wavy-ish one, and then I got one that was actually meant for a Jessica Rabbit costume. It was a custom-made wig, the one I wore um, for the video you guys saw on my Instagram. Hopefully you did, and if you didn't, go check it out. I'll link it down below. This lace in the front comes with overhang, so you can cut it. I don't really know what it means to cut it. Like, they say you can cut it to the shape you want, but I feel like with how long it is, I just cut it as close to the scalp as I can get it. And then that way it looks natural. Um, but I'm going to pop on my wig real quick and, or not my wig, I'm going to pop on my wig cap real quick and then we'll pop on some wigs. I'm going to look real weird here in about a second. These ones from Powder Room D have this little, these little things that you can like connect. It's almost like a bra strap and you can kind of connect it. Um, and that's what I do. I just connect it on the bottom so that way it's tight to my head so it looks natural too that way. But like, I love this color, don't you? Like, I don't know. What do you guys think? Comment down below at the very end of this video. Comment down below what your favorite color on me is. I love this red. This is the same color but really curly. how curly that is. It's like kinky curls. I don't really do like a middle part, but like, okay, let me see if I can brush the curls out a little and get like less kinkiness. I don't know if I want like straight kinkiness like this. Okay, yeah, no, it's not really <laughs> losing the kinkiness, but I kind of like it in a way. 
but I don't know this is just definitely not my style like I've curled my natural hair like this before and it looked really cute I feel like this is um, a little too kinky of curls to look good on me like my face shape and all that like I don't know this is just it's just too curly like I don't know I thought it looked really cute at first I tried it on a few days ago it looked really cute I don't know nah no we done with that bitch I'm just going to show you kind of all the crazy ones first. This one, oh my god. So on the website, it looked really cute. Like, Taylor Swift's old hair when she did country music was like life to me. Like, her hair when she did country music, I used to die. Like this color blonde up here, and like super curly when she did country music. But... See, this is where, this is where, okay, this is where the wig goes wrong for me, okay? I'm just throwing this back real quick because I'm going to show you. What the f*** is this? Like, I know some girls that can pull off some crazy ass hair and look so bomb. Like, do your hair the way you want, bitch. Like, I don't care. But this does not make sense to me. White. It just looks so, like, if it was just the blonde on the top, I think it would look so cute. But this, this thing, this, this thing, I don't know what this is. Like, okay, I love that it's doing this sort of bang thing in the front here. Mmm, cute. But I just, I can't hop on board with this whole, like, white. It's not even highlights. It's just, like, white on the end. Like, are they trying to do ombre? I don't, I don't know. What do you guys think? So... Even though this one was really cute when I first got it, I think just over the course of having it for a little while and like trying it on a lot and letting other people try it on, like it just isn't really my favorite one anymore. I feel like I'd look cute with this kind of length of hair though, but the way they do it is just so weird. I don't know. I'm going to see if I can back, 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 back it up. Back this thing up. Ready for my close up. So you can see the length on this. I don't know, this one looks kind of cute, but I just don't, I'm not feeling the part, I'm not really, I don't know, the, the color for me just kind of doesn't work for me, I don't know, what do you guys think? I'm going to take it off though, because I'm not really a huge, oh, ow, ouch, I'm going to try on this one, which I used for my Cheshire, Cheshire, or whatever you want to call it, cat, Cheshire cat. Honestly, I don't hate this wig. And I'm not a middle part kind of girl, but I actually don't mind the middle part on this one. Because it's kind of a tight knit middle part, so it's not like insane. But short hair on me, I just... Everyone always says I would look so cute with short hair, but I just... I don't want to cut my hair. Because it took me forever to grow it. So, I haven't... Honestly, I haven't gotten a trim or cut my hair in four years. But I don't know. What do you guys think? This is cute. This one I used in my festival makeup look. Like the braids are coming out big time though. And I've literally not even used this but like once. The braids are coming out a little bit. But this one looks cute, don't it? I think it looks cute. I think it does. I don't know. I think it looks cute, don't you? I keep looking at this viewfinder and not... The camera sorry about that okay this is like a realistic red wig i like this one i feel like it looks pretty realistic this is the one i've kind of played around with the most do you see what i mean though like these look super realistic like if i'm from far away like this you guys can't really tell like i can't at least in the viewfinder but if you're really looking yeah you're gonna probably be able to tell but from that far away, like, I don't feel like people could really tell. And at night, like, if I was to, like, wear this at night or something out, like, I don't think anyone would be able to tell, honestly. And I love it. Like, I think it's so sexy. What do you think? I keep asking, but I'm just, like, I'm curious to know what you guys think. Alright, we're gonna do the Jessica Rabbit wig, just cuz. The layers in the front like this really do do the Jessica Rabbit kind of like, you know, she has that like really big hump kind of like covering her eye kind of thing. Wigs are so fun. 
Like you can just be a whole new person for a day. I have three more left. So this one I just got, so it's fairly new and I think it's kind of cute. I just have to, like I said, I have to kind of adjust them once I get them on my head. So like Marilyn Monroe. The part is initially supposed to go in the middle, but I hate it in the middle because I just don't like the way my hair looks with the part in the middle. But I don't hate this wig. I actually kind of like it. I have two more. So this one is, oh my God, probably one of my favorites. Actually, it was my favorite, but now this other one I'm gonna show you after this one, that one's my favorite. I love it. I love this one because it looks really real and it just looks so cute. And the length is like perfect. Like it's not too short, but it's also not like crazy, super duper, oh my God. See that? Ew. This was my favorite one out of all of them until I got this other one, which I love. And last but not least, this blonde one. Yeah, I know it looks weird because this side's longer than this side, but I have to move the part to show you guys how I like it. I can always cut it to do like, you know, this little number, but oh my God. Is this not the cutest wig? Like, I just love the blonde. I love how natural it looks and I love how it fits really flat on my head so it looks really real. This is my favorite wig out of all the wigs. It just looks super realistic. Like, it looks like it's my hair. It looks really cute. The edging is not as noticeable. And I just feel like this is so cute. I don't know. So let me know what you guys want to see down below um, as well as what your favorite wig was that I tried on and um, I don't know what I'm going to do next but we will see and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. <laughs>